MacBook Wire. First off, most offense I've seen out of you in a minute, Mac. What has changed about your wrestling this year? Um, normally, you were you'd wrestle the edge a lot. I noticed your wrestling's changed drastically this year. Walk me through that match with Sinan. Uh Kind of just working with Lashaway a lot. I've been doing a lot of individual sessions with him just because of classes. So him coming in this year has helped me a lot. We've been working on just staying offensive, not resting on the edges so much just because of the new stall call. I know if I get pushed out, which happened a lot last year, that'd be a lot of stall calls this year. So I'm more comfortable with being offensive and trying to get that guy so tired by the end of the match that I should be able to take any shot I want and kind of keep the pace up. From the past years, I've been kind of slowing things down and trying to, you know, keep a lead. But I'm just trying to get more offensive this year. Looking at those takedowns you got on him, you should. I mean, that guy, he's six foot tall. He's got to be. He's huge. Yeah. Um, you're getting in on those shots. And that first one, how crucial was that first takedown? That took like, that was like a 50 second exchange there. How crucial was that first takedown? Oh, it's huge. Uh, first takedown in any match is gonna be really crucial. And being, wrestling with tall guys, I've always had kind of a struggle and just how much harder to get both their legs. You're, I feel like he engulfs you when you wrestle him just because of that height. But uh, definitely pushing through it really it changed the match and kind of set the pace. Third period takedown. He starts surging on you. Takes you down. It's a tie match at one point. Actually, he has the lead if he decides to ride, and he cuts you out. And you take him down. What's going through your head? You look like you are completely exhausted. What's going through your head when you get that last takedown? Uh, like I said before, working with Lashley, you kind of just like just kill yourself in the room, so that when you are that tired, we always do like five shots at the end. So you're exhausted, and you're really trying to get those last five takedowns. That's kind of what goes through your head. Almost that killer instinct of kind of forget about the match and all that stuff and just try to get that one last takedown because I mean it's the match right there and just kind of persevere through it and uh, it's, I guess adrenaline is going. Looking at you know the, uh, the the NCAA tournament you were actually seated last year I believe looking at the tournament man you haven't you you're not all-american yet um, and, and this is your last year you know you and you didn't redshirt here you went four straight um, looking at going four straight and you know being your last year um, what, what do you got to do this year to, to be a guy that's going to be challenged and be a semifinalist, be something like that? What do you got to do? What, what needs to change between here and March? Uh, I think in the years past, kind of this season has just been a grueling like season for me, but I'm kind of having a lot of fun this year just because my last year and I'm not worried about school as much. My schedule is a lot easier. Uh, it's coming down to it. I, I mean, I know they're going to give me uh, – I think the Christmas tournament off, so I'll get that as a break and kind of just to enjoy my last season and not think of it as a grind as much as uh, kind of it's your last chance to do something big. And I think I, I feel a lot better this year than I have in the past. Have these new rules changed for the better for you? Do you like them? I do not like them. Uh, it's I, changed your style completely. Yeah, I don't think it really helps in the best way. I think it helps for like if the guy's on a leg, the whole counting thing, but. I mean, in my opinion, I couldn't do anything when he got double unders. I literally, my feet weren't even touching the ground. He pushed me out. He That's, picked you up and walked you off the yeah, mat. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion. And they, they I, hit you for stalling. I don't, and that could have definitely changed, it changed the match. I mean, I really don't like him. I think. You're wrestling to him, though. Yeah, you got to adapt. But I think they're really trying to make it almost too high pace of a sport where if anybody knows wrestling, they know that you can't be always going the whole match. There's going to be times where you've got to slow it down and kind of catch your breath. Uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, just like any new rules and any changes, it's going to take some time to really perfect them. All right, what are you going to be when you grow up? This is your last year of school. What are you going to be when you grow up? What's your degree going to be in? Uh, speech pathology. So, you and Bauer? Uh, yeah. Well, teaching people how to talk. Yeah, we're going to run a clinic together. Maybe he's going <laughs> to be the funny side, keep the patients laughing. So. All right, man, you got anything else for me? No, that's it. All right, hey, good luck. Thank you.